Hey guys, Mr. Klein here, and we are in my kitchen where we are going to work on our experiment where I'm going to show you how to use the pennies and stuff to make sure you know. Yes, those are pink dish gloves over there. Don't judge. Okay, so we have a paper and we have two boats. Okay, you should have three, but I'm using two for this example. One is loose leaf paper. This is the SS Bill Nye. Uh, and the other one is the USS Science, which is made out of cardstock. So I have this. It's already written down on my sheet. I have my pennies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this stopwatch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in water, and we're going to see how we go. So we're going to put them in, in th and I'm going to start it at the same time. Three, two, one, go. So I Place them both in the water. Let's float as best as they can. Okay, so they're floating. They're kind of off to the side. 10, 15 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare two pennies. Now they're both floating. I'm trying to keep them away from each other. And so do they float? Yes, they do. So I'm going to check that. Okay, five seconds, four, three, two, one, we'll put pennies in. Okay, and I'm leaving them alone because I want to see what they're going to do. As you can see, this is exciting stuff. You can look at our clock. Okay, you got 15 seconds left. And I have my two more pennies. Okay, and as of 30 seconds, they were still floating. Okay, and I'm at a minute, so I'm gonna drop two more pennies in. And so we're still going. Okay, and this one's about to start taking on water. I'm trying to keep them away from each other once again. They're floating, and I guess I should be filling in all this dead time with awesome talk about science. But we have four, three, two, one, and so I'm going to put in two more pennies, okay, and so they're at one minute, they were still floating, okay, and at one minute and 30 seconds, they were both still floating, so I have my two more pennies ready, and I'm going to continue this until one sinks, and here we go, and at five seconds, and I'm going to drop another penny in, and I'm going to drop another penny here. And at two minutes, as you can see right here, I'm still, they're still floating. Okay, so I've already prepared two more pennies. And what I'm going to do right here is just to show you what you need to do when it sinks, is I'm going to deliberately make one of them sink right here. So, uh... 28, 29, two and a half minutes. I'm going to drop one in. I'm going to place another penny on here. So it's going down. And as you can see, it's taking on water. I'm going to keep the USS Science away. And as you can see, she sinks all the way down at two minutes and 46 seconds. I'm going to put at two minutes, 46, right here. Whereas this one, Right here, the SS Science is still floating. So I'm gonna have my penny ready. I'm gonna drop it in there and we'll put that it's still floating. And so from here on out, I keep on putting X's all the way down because she sank and she's lying at the bottom of my sink. Okay, and as you can see right here, she's still floating and I'm going to go ahead and sink this other one right here. And so she's still at three and a half. And I'm going to put some more pennies. In fact, enough of the scientific method. I'm just going to dump many more pennies to see if she actually sinks. And she's not sinking. But she is getting low in the water. There we go. There we go. So she went down at 3 minutes and 57 seconds. So I'm going to stop it because that's when my time is. And so I'm going to put this out. 
And so we know that if I was doing this correctly and not trying to uh, speed up the time, I would know that she had eight pennies. She did not have set, she had seven pennies right here because this was the last one Put right here. And when this one sank at 246, that means this one was how many this one had because it had survived two minutes and 30 seconds. So it had five pennies in it when she sank. So there they are. There's our papers. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, so there you go. Short video. Uh, almost six minutes, but I'll try and speed this up a little bit uh, whenever we show it in class. But this is what happens, how you do your paper boat project. And so you take this data right here, now that you've taken it, and you'll put it into your graph. So thanks for watching.